<laughs> was Mac Miller technically a rapper? Yes. Yeah, he was a rapper. He so was a rapper. Post Malone's a rapper too. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what uh, his his handlers have told him he is. Yeah. Well, I think they told him now he has to be like a Jason Aldean. Guy. I think Post Malone. I'm not really sure. I don't really look into the history of uh, of worthless industry plant retards that are uh, <laughs> sent here by the devil to destroy uh, the people's minds and mm-hmm. uh, taste, but. Post Malone, I believe, was a failed rock star who then made a, a parody joke, like rap song, that did, then went incredibly viral. And then he made White Iverson then after he, that. Yeah. yeah. Th- then, then White. I think that was White Iverson was the song. Oh, was it? I think so. Oh, okay. And then you know became that guy. And now he, and then he, and then uh, he like did a cover of like a Kurt of a Nirvana song like live, and people were like, "Whoa, he really can play the guitar and sing, okay, so he's a brilliant guy." And then he kept making like you know just bullshit right. like, uh, like Snickers songs. <laughs> And uh, you know, congratulations, congratulations. It's uh, these people want son, a my Roomba to make their music for them. <laughs> they want a electric vacuum. Th- these songs can be made by a fucking ring doorbell. <laughs> I fucking hate him. He stinks. He fucking sucks. He's an industry plant. He's th- does he doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing. Anyone with face tattoos, by the way, like that. You're a fucking worthless moron. Mm-hmm. Why, why, how did we get mm-hmm. so far in society where we don't judge people off face tattoos? Yep. You're a dipshit. Yeah. Yeah. You have the Snapchat logo on your fucking <laughs> cheek. Kill yourself. Does he really have that? No, but he might as well. <laughs> yeah, if you have a face tattoo and you haven't like blown up a kitten with a stick of dynamite, like you're, you're a loser. <laughs> right. Yeah, if it's you're either, head, uh, yeah, it's if, either fake rapper or guy who did so much fentanyl he killed his mom. <laughs> if you try to take a picture of Post Malone's head, your phone thinks it's a QR code. <laughs> <laughs> it takes it's you to the Chili's you. menu. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're like, damn, I can order wings at Post Malone. Yeah, I keep getting real pissed off. I don't know if his country song is out, but I see it go viral all the time. Post Malone, mm-hmm. he's doing this and he's listening to it in the studio, and he's like, yeah. He's just listening to it, and it sounds like a Bud Light summertime exactly. kickback, yeah. like kid rock. No, this is what song. our world is now. Like a guy that Joe Rogan claims is the new Brian Wilson. Mm-hmm. I think people Who's, think he's Joe Cocker. They, he they, does this. Yeah, right. It's bullshit. He stinks. He's uh, he's uh, been I, sent here by Satan. I said that on the internet, and everyone called me a hater. Did they? Yeah, people called me a hater. Because they turned around on him. They turned around on him. Because mm-hmm. he, 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 ha- he's he, had a good... He repented for his black crimes, he, and now he's making entertainment for the whites again. Yeah, he's had a yeah. good marketing campaign. I, no, what, what, I would look up Malone, this new song, but my keyboard broke. So The amount of white rappers, it is kind of... I didn't realize this. The amount of white rappers who kind of were like, okay, it looks like um, checking the stocks. BLM is crashing. Barstool Sports is skyrocketing. I love the trashy whites again. <laughs> right, right. I'm making... I'm wearing a fucking American flag cut off flannel. You know, and hanging out with a uh, fucking who's that country guy who said the n word? Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen. Morgan he, he kicks ass though. Does he? Yeah. For the n word. He's bringing the n word back. <laughs> He's bringing it back, man. I think this song. I can do. I can do it by, by myself. I've running there, and it's just Post Malone in the studio doing this. Right, right, right. Because mm-hmm. he's like he's so brilliant. Like he's like pretending to be Stevie Wonder. Like he's blind, and music is the only thing that he sees. Mm-hmm. It's a poor. It's a Joe Cocker yeah. type of thing. But I, it's not. Listen, may- it's something that plays at the gap. I don't know. Maybe this is gonna come off wrong. I don't know. Maybe the whole world loves Post Malone now. I think they do. Unfortunately. I think they do. I, he's like on Kill Tony. I, and stuff. I'm sure. I know, but <laughs> yeah, I, but I, Barack Obama's going on Kill Tony. I, I don't. I I just don't. I've never understood him, and I think he's bad for us, and I think people are being tricked. Yeah, I call him Toast Malone. Damn right. I said, you're over, pal. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a hunk might, of shit. Yeah, you, well, he's a country singer. That's a hunk, that plays at gas stations Good when you fill up. What it is. I do that by myself. You should. I'm the, the more honest version of that is release a three minute song called the N word where you just say it <laughs> with no music behind it. Yeah. And if that hit number one, I'd be like, okay, at least that's like I know what it is. But you know, all you gotta do if you if you make music like that in general and and 
but but then if you have a NPR Tiny Desk video come mm-hmm. out, what your 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 handlers go put out an NPR Tiny Desk video because yeah. show people that you know how to play like a string on the guitar, yep. and then do Linger by Cran- by the Cranberries, yeah. mm-hmm. and then people will think you're like soulful and like actually a genuinely great artist. But then you you see that you go, yeah, that was good, I guess. But I how I feel like I could have seen that at like almost any yeah you know a, a bar a where, where, where where people perform. It's not even like it's not even just like white rap. They did that to T Pain famously. He did the concert and he sang live mm-hmm. and people I swear to God were like oh I thought he was a stupid robot monkey but it turns out <laughs> he can actually sing real good can he right yeah. and it's okay it's, it's fine fine yeah. T-Pain's talented but you just are surprised that he mm-hmm. could even sing at all well it's also like being like so like you know like fucking um like any T-Pain song from the early 2000s isn't doesn't mean he can't make a good song right but you see him play live you're like oh that's what I saw a guy do that at a bar, so that means he's good now. No, like, it, it's really uh, strange to me. Like, imagine if, like, Sam Cooke, Al Green sucked fucking ass, <laughs> like, publicly. Like, all their hits were, like, hunks of shit. Mm-hmm. But then occasionally they'd, they'd go out and then they would do, like, sitting in the morning. Sun. Mm. And you go, oh, no, he is talented. But go ahead, keep feeding us shit. It's weird. Well, Post Malone's making like the Wiggles, like for country music. I don't even know what it is anymore. I don't I, know like, what I don't know what Post Malone is. But I will say this about he, it's like <clears throat> like a Jay's is a human barcode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I said that. You said that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said he's a QR code. My apologies. Yeah, yeah. But I I put a nice little cherry on top of that. <laughs> don't forget about the cherry. <laughs> sure, no, we're all aware of the cherries, Jay. Yeah, really, yeah. the tags are the most important part of podcasting. <laughs> oh, for sure, that's what I say. I. uh I'll say this because I don't want to drag the guy through the mud if Post happens to be on his tour bus right now. He'd love to be dragged through the mud. He'd finally be black to people. (laughs) Yeah, if Toast is listening to this face down in a toilet somewhere. Did you call him Toast? Yeah, I I accidentally did again. (laughs) You called him Toast? I did a shitty joke. That is like a fat guy thing, too. You called him Toast. Chase goes, he's fucking Toast. (laughs) He's Toast. (laughs) Well, it wasn't just being fat. I I also called him Toast earlier. Oh, you did? Uh, toast is, uh, but uh, I was just gonna say that I don't want to dr- like because he might be you know on his way across Europe being the coolest guy ever right now. Uh, he, uh, I just want to say he might be cool as fuck to hang out with. He seems like a nice guy, and I think he's cool in that regard or whatever. But you know, I mean, I th- I think he's I actually I think he's awesome and his music kicks ass. Here's the thing. When, I, I reverse when everything Joe, I said. I, I like I like I lo- I I love Joe Rogan. I lo- I, lo- I like Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. I like I like a lot of things he's done. I, I mm-hmm. think he's I think he should be respected for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. I don't respect who he becomes falls in love with musically out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he is a guy that like Dude. out of well, nowhere I mean, thinks I mean, Post Malone's like a legend. Right. I mean Rogan is literally a guy where you go do you like what do you like musically? He goes, "Dude, the Stones kick ass." <laughs> yeah. Joe Rogan walks through the the young adult section of Target and he mm-hmm. looks at the shirts. He goes, I guess that's the best bands of all time. <laughs> Did you see the Black Dude. Keys had to cancel their entire tour? Yeah. They're not doing any live dates. Right. Because mm-hmm. you people, see they're like 5% sold in some arenas they were doing. Yeah, because yeah, everyone yeah. just goes, I'll just watch Chevy commercials. Yeah. I don't need to see them live. Yeah, because everyone who's a fan of them now has a kid and their life is over. Yeah. They're you, not going to a Black Keys concert. I'll fucking buy a Silverado. Yeah. You can just go to Times Square and watch watch the commercials and just cycle yeah. through the Black Keys hits yeah. in the middle of Times Square. And I, I love the Black Keys, but it is there's a lot of songs that I listen to and I go, I don't know, it's just tainted now because I've heard it so many fucking times in, in corporate bullshit. Mm-hmm. I love looking at the seat maps when people aren't selling tickets. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> You do send a lot yeah, of people. You send a lot of people. It's do? weird. You, you, you're really obsessed you with do? people you, not selling tickets. <laughs> you're, the beauty of your it's hatred. It's fun to see. The beauty of your hatred is you you will send us a guy with two fans and be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> and then you'll follow it up with a guy with 900 million fans and be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> it's uh, every, from the tiniest little bug to the biggest blue whale you hate. <laughs> You're gonna start running out of comedians and musical artists. You're just gonna send us like pictures of bugs and be like, "Fuck this bug!" <laughs> it ate a leaf like a fucking retard. Yeah, Ben's like, y'all ever notice how the Roly Poly fell off? No one talks like, about Roly Poly like, anymore. When I was a kid, they'd be like everywhere rolling up and shit, but like 
<laughs> Where you roll your ass to, little roly poly. Sad to see what all the bugs that used to like hit windshields have become. You don't even see them anymore. <laughs> Dude, bu- bugs fell off. <laughs> bugs, Loki fell off. Loki, no cap, bugs fell off. <laughs> I feel like I've been less hateful lately, if anything. Oh, no, much, much more so. Yeah. yeah.